In this tutorial in Adobe Premiere Elements 2018, we're going to look at how to take a frame from a movie clip in your project and copy that as an independent digital image. You can use the image in any other kind of application you want, but it's a very nice thing to do. We'll look at doing this manually, and then we'll look at an automated way, which is unique to Premiere Elements 2018. Sometimes we have a device on our camera where we can take a copy of the image that we see on the screen and do an instant photograph. But if you don't want to use that tool or want to do it later, you can do it in post-production. We'll show you how. First, let's look at the manual method. In the manual method, you take your current time indicator and you move it to the frame that you want to make a copy of as an independent digital image. I can slide it with the mouse or I can be very specific. We have our location over here above the timeline and I can move frame by frame forward or backward in order to get the specific frame I want to export. So I'll take this one here and then I click on the Tools menu at the top and choose Freeze Frame. The only option that interests me right here is the one that call, it called Export. So if I click on the Export button in this box, it will ask me where do I want to put it in my file system. It will give a name, and I'm going to override that name in a moment, and then it will give me three options for export. I can make a copy as a JPEG file, as a GIF file, or as a BMP file. I'll leave it on JPEG, and then I'll just call this test. I'll go ahead and save it. I'm going to overwrite the current file. And now I have a copy external to my program of this particular frame as an independent picture or photograph. Very nice and simple way to do that. Now the other way we can do that is an automated way in Elements 2018. There are three ways to get to this automated tool in Premiere 2018. First way is to click on the Tools menu at the top and then choose Freeze Frame again. Only this time you choose Extract Candid Photos, the button on the left side. And when you do, you'll get to this sub-menu which allows you to do that. Before we actually run the menu, let me show you the other two ways to get to this screen. I'm going to click and close it. And the second way is to click on Tools and go directly to one called Candid Moments. When I click on that, I'm at the same menu screen. The third way to get to the tool is to click on the Tools icon on the right on the toolbar, the screwdriver and the wrench, and then choose the Candid Moments, the third one from the top. So whatever way you pick, this will get you into the automated tool that will try to select the, the frames that you want to use. Then you click on Auto Extract at the bottom. And it will go through and it will attempt to extract the best frames it can find. Now because I've used this before on the system, it automatically picked the same six frames it found earlier. If it's a long clip, it may take you some time for it to go through this process. It attempts to look for uh, frames inside of your video that are groups of people, or moments with faces, or objects that are in focus, or what it calls interesting lighting. And in this particular case, it found six. It might find one, it might find 29. It will vary according to the algorithm but we found six here. Now once you have them selected, what do you do with them? You have three options. The first option is export to desktop. And basically it means export anywhere to your file system. I'll click on that and let's say we want to export it to a different location. I'll pause the video while I go there. So I'm going to select this folder and then it will export those. It gives them the, the option of opening my folder. Let's do that now. And here I have my six different video pictures. Let's take click on one of them, and here I happen to see what it looks like. And I can move through and see all six. 
I can use all of them. I can erase any I want. So it's a nice way to simply go in and find the pictures in an automated way that Premier Elements says these are the best candidates for independent pictures. We'll close those screens. The third option that I like is export to timeline. We'll get to the second one in a moment. Export to timeline basically will take those same six pictures and append them right in your video project. Now, what I could do is I could actually delete the video here completely, and then I could make a slideshow of the six, or I could uh, delete any of the six. I can edit any of the six that I want. I can change the transitions between them. So if I want to use them in the current project, they're all available. I like that option. That's a pretty good one. We'll go back to the same screen we had a moment ago and look at option number three. Now this option is the one that's my least favorite. What it does is it will go ahead and create a slideshow over which you have no control. It will add music, it will add transitions, it will do a format uh, kind of randomly from all the ones available inside of Premiere Elements. If you do this twice, you'll get two different slideshows. So this is an option that you can have if you want Premiere to basically take over. Now, it does create a screen that, that is full screen. I can't resize it, so we're only going to see the center of it when I click this button in this tutorial. But I'm going to go ahead and do that. It will try to save it and process it for me. And here's our preview. Again, we're only seeing the center of the screen, not the entire thing. Now I've moved the cursor to the upper right corner of this screen that I cannot resize. I can export it as Facebook, YouTube, Vimeo, or to a local disk. Or I can simply save it. When I click on Save, it will save it as an untitled slideshow that I can rename inside my Elements Organizer. I'm not a fan of this option, but it is something that you can use. So we're not going to save it, and we'll go back to our regular screen. So those are the ways in which you can take the uh, individual images that it's extracted from your video and use them either to your desktop, to the timeline of the current project, or to an independent slideshow. A very powerful tool in Premiere Elements 2018.